Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to learn about points, lines, and planes. Geometry is a branch of mathematics that studies the sizes, shapes, angles, and dimensions of things. Geometry has basic elements that help us to formulate and represent patterns and shapes, make predictions, and understand the properties of object and space. The three most basic elements in geometry are points, lines, and planes. And these three things are what we are going to discuss right now. We know what are points, right? It is a small dot and usually we use it to end a sentence in paragraphs, stories, and etc. But in geometry, point is a location that has no size, no width, no length, and no depth. A point is a small dot with capital letter. Now let's draw two points, namely point A and point B. Imagine you are standing at point A and you wanted to go to point B at a shortest distance as possible. To do that, you just need to go straight from point A to point B. Look at the path formed at the shortest distance. Most of us called it a line but in geometry this is not a line instead it is called a line segment a line segment is a special type of line where it has a beginning and an end so in this example it starts at point a and end in point b and therefore it is called the line segment a b so if this is called a line segment then what is a line Line is a straight path that extends indefinitely in two directions and has no thickness. And it is the next most basic element in geometry. As what I said, line extends indefinitely meaning it extends forever into two directions but we cannot draw a line that goes indefinitely. So to draw a line all you have to do is pass the end points a little bit and then draw arrow on both ends to show that it keeps on going. Another special type of line is called a ray. Ray is a special type of line that has one endpoint and one side goes forever so we only put arrow on one side that keeps going forever. And in geometry, there is a shorthand way in writing the name of a line, line segment and ray. So instead of writing line segment AB, we could just write AB and put a line on top of AB. And instead of writing line YZ, we could just write YZ with two arrowheads over them. And instead of writing ray BC, we could just write BC and one arrowhead on top of it. Now, let's learn about other basic elements of geometry, which is the plane. Not the plane that flies in the sky. Plane in geometry is a flat surface with no thickness or boundary and extends to all direction without an end. Earlier, you learned that you can draw a line by connecting two points, but for the planes, it turns out that you need three points that are not on the same line to make a plane. Imagine you have a piece of paper that extends in all direction without an end. I know it is impossible, but just for representation anyway, in that paper you draw three points that are not at the same line, so the paper represents the plane. Again, it is just a representation because it is very difficult to give a real example of plane since plane extends in all direction without an end. So now, you know the three basic elements in geometry which are the points, lines, and planes. So to have a quick review, points are just a small dot with letter to name the point and you can make a line by connecting two points and lines are the ne next basic element of geometry. Lines also are drawn by passing the endpoints a little bit and then draw arrow on both ends to show that it keeps on going. And lastly is the plane. Plane has no thickness and it extends in all direction without an end. And it is also composed of three points that are not on the same line. That's it guys. So did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned a lot about the, these three basic elements in geometry. Also, you can watch other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.